Good afternoon, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be changing the belt. Got a new belt after my kicker climb belt snapped on me a few weeks ago. So I'm going to take you through that. So here we've got the Wahoo kicker climb. I'm going to show you because there's nothing on the internet video wise on YouTube of how to take these things apart and how to change the belt. So that's what we're going to do. It's a how to change the belt on a Wahoo kicker climb. It snaps, which is a known problem with these things. It's just one of these. It's basically a timing belt like you'd get in a car, but it's a synchronous one. So what that means is that somewhere on here, there'll be a mark for like a sensor that it registers. Can't see it. We'll take it out of the packet and we'll have a look. New belt. Those are the numbers you need. 1152 8M S is the synchronous. That's just the make. So I bought this from Totally Belts on the internet. Ordered it on the 27th of January and it turned up this week on the 7th of Feb. So it probably goes off these marks here and then it'll just rotate one way. Knows where it's gone from here. So many revolutions come back up and down like that. It doesn't go round and round like a normal car. Um, timing belt. So yeah. It's quite narrow really. No wonder they snap. Car timing belt's probably double that thickness. Right, let's get into this. So, tools we're going to need. A 10 mil spanner. A couple of these little plastic spudgy things. Circlet, circlet pliers. Some Allen keys. First thing to do is pull that thing up underneath there, down here somewhere, right at the bottom, if you can see it. Just down there. There's one Allen key. Not Allen key, Allen bolt. And then underneath, up there, there's another one. Up here somewhere, in a hole up here. So, let's get this one out first. So this top one's a 2.5. I'll do it through the camera. Undo that one. Now they have got thread lock on them. But they're all loose. You want to be careful not to drop this one, but ultimately it doesn't matter. That one. Chuck it on there. Tray. Don't lose it in there. That was the 2.5. Then underneath here, you know, I come out there, so it's up here. There's a hole there. This is a four. I did it one handed. Shake and wrap it down in a bit. Put it down. There you go. What's that one? Just unclips on this side. Pull that off. There's a little barb in there. You have to take this plate off. Forgotten. So next we've got to undo these. That top plate will come off. It's back to that. Those two bolts, those are the top pulley. Don't think we need to undo those two, so leave those two attached for now. Undo that, undo that, that one, that one, 
this one again these smaller ones 2.5s onto all these six of them so onto all six of those that will now lift off with the pulley on now obviously because the belt snaps that'll come off if your belt hasn't snapped you'll need to undo those two I'm going to leave those because they are not tight can you see they're actually loose so that must be something to do with the belt tension so we'll have to revisit that when we come back to putting it back together but there's the circle that you need to undo to get that pulley pivot bolt out on either side Slides up. Again, you have to leave that attached. All these will slide out the top. Light down. Next, we've got to get this plastic cover off here. It's got little clips holding it. It's got little clips holding it at the top, and you need to prise it off from the bottom. There's no point in taking that rubber cover off the bottom; it doesn't do anything. So that's where these little spudges come in. Keep wiggling and it'll come off. That's one side. You see, they've got little clips under here and a lip at the top that goes underneath the other, the other bit. Turn it over to the other side. Once you've done one, the other's easy. Right. So next, we need to undo these. Don't bother with that one, don't do anything. Three on this side, three on the other side. One, two, these two are smaller and they've got 10 mil nuts on the back. Right, 10 mil.
turn it over. It's coming that way. So I must say. These ones are four, four millimetre Allen key. Last one. off. It's tight, wiggle it. that to one side. That's just the base. So all I'm doing is I'm just lifting that mortar section out of that pillar. Just lifting it out. I hope you can see. Just gently. There we go. That lifts out. Pull the belt down. And then we've got this bit. So then we're going to put it down again now, lie it down, and then we need to go face down this way. See the, the belt is clamped on there, physically attached. There's my snapped old belt. So I've now just pulled that out of that section with the little plastic guides. These just slide out. That one lifts off, like so. Right, so next we need to unclamp these ones from the, the old snapped belt. We need to undo these on the mortar cover to get the belt out of this bit. So for these one, these clamp plates to the belt, it's a three millimeter hex key, Allen key. Just undo the clamp bolts. I'm somewhere safe. Again, these have got thread lock on, which is a bit pointless because they're going in a plastic, I think. Unless there's a metal insert, I'll soon tell you. Ah, right, there's little nuts on the back. Okay, there's nuts on the inside. Don't know whether you can see. There is little nuts on the inside that are held in the plastic. Sorry about the light in that. That's okay. Right, so we'll get all these plant, get all these clamps off. Some of them fall out, some of them don't.
and underneath there there's just plastic moulded face that it fits into that's how it holds the load right I'll do the other one get that done get the belt off this bit that. Now which way up is the belt? Okay. Under the motor bolts now. Yep. So we're now on doing those ones. Four of those. They already look a bit chewed up, these ones. Hello Merlin. I just have to let the cat through. The plate should now come off. So now off there and that's bizarre so okay right okay worm gear pulley belt in there like that writing down all belt out new belt writing down writing down new belt in, back together, plate back on, yeah I'm coming, like so, right I've just got to stop and move the cap, hang on, come in, good boy, yeah you're going to go out, mm -hmm. and then as they say, Reassembly is the re reversal of disassembly, with a few exceptions which I'll come to. I've got to get that cover back on there next. And then those screws back in. Those 
management parking. Well, what we need to consider now is where the clamps were in relation to where that bottom pulley was to get that back in the right place. It was about there, so they need to go about there. So I'm just putting the clamps back on for this piece just need to double check that I've got it in the right location along that side of the belt from the pulley. The old belt, put it on there and then I'm going to measure and just check. So the camera just cut off because it was too hot so I just had to take the foam cover off, put it in the fridge. Carrying on, just making sure, things to be aware of, make sure that when you put that on you put that in, measure from the pulley to the centre of here make sure you're in the right place when you put these things back in make sure you've got them all correct they've got little lips there that hook onto the next one like that and make sure you feed them into the correct little channels up here there's little grooves they fit into so because this is probably gonna um, cut off on me again I'm just gonna put the things back on so that'll go on there like that And then the next one will go that cut out up like so, like so. Shove it all back together. So on mine, I'm giving up putting all these things back in. I'm going to run it without because it's not going to affect the functionality of it because one of these little channels is broken that they're running, these little plastic channels, so they keep getting stuck. So next, I've just got to put this cover back over to protect the motor that needs to slip under here um, probably do it from this side this side looks a bit easier that just slots back into there Hello, what about you? You're outside. I'm going to get that pulley out of there now. Little circle it. These might be too big. So I just had to change to a narrower pair. Get that circle off there. There we go. Now, has that deformed it? I think that's deformed it, hasn't it? It has, that's deformed it. Right, that should push out. Does it want to push out? Why doesn't it want to push out? So I had to tap the shaft out with a drift 
super tight. So there we go. So I need to put that that way, and that needs to go on there before I put this on. So these slots go into those grooves. Now the only trouble now is with the belt in here, the belt's up there, the other end of the belt not snapped, the pulley will go in there, but I can't get the shaft through there, back through there in that position. So what I'm gonna to have to do is undo those bolts, get that bracket off there, and then bolt that back on after. So I think that's how you'll have to do it. I need to drive that shaft back through there again because it's tight. So do that next and then I can bolt that top plate back on, pull that back up. Well, that ain't coming out. More, pop, more chance of it snapping. Right, that back through there now. Bolt it up. So here, so now I'm going to put that top plate back on there. Just that after, get these back in position.
before I put the base on, I want to check the operation of it now. 